Okay. There's a task right here. I have to copy this. That's the whole stuff. Thing. It's supposed to be the same every day, but well, who knows? I always copy it. I exit out of here. Because I'm using the Primax headset, I have to do it this way. Or I need to do it this way. Do I have to? I need to do it this way. Inject. Go to my drive here. Go to Condor. Use exit. Uh, Condor executable. Boom. And go to multiplayer. Paste it in. And hit User join. Entered your channel. Hit join. User left your channel. Go in here, say hello to the guys. Channel switched. Hello guys. Hi John, hi Stephen. <laughs> hi John, hi Stephen. Okay, so let's look at the task here. Okay, it looks like a one turn and one other thing kind of stuff. See which way the wind's going. Hopefully it's going this way. Nope. In the opposite direction. So that means that uh, hopefully all these stuff will give us some ridge lift. Going this way, going this way, all the way to the uh, 3.1. And then we'll be kind of like going this way, a little bit against the wind. Got a minimal, got to arrive above. Uh, 800 meters. Star height 17, 17, 1,700 meters. Okay, let's see the weather. Of course, the wind's going that way at 25 miles, 25 kilometers per hour. Uh, variation high, it's going to be high variation. Okay, it's coming from this direction, 158, so south, coming from the southeast. Thermal, so turbulence is light. Okay, ooh. <laughs> the start height is like 16, but I mean the start height is 17, but the uh, cloud is like only like uh, 1650. So the strength of the uh, thermals is moderate, you know, uh, Variation is low, so it's going to be moderate throughout each one. <laughs> Activity normal. Width noble. That's activity normal. Okay, a little bit of wave, so that'll help us out. The ridges. Let's see. Oh, it's club class. <laughs> Is that new plane the LS3 that this got, but I don't own it, so I can't fly it. I have the four, I have the four, but I don't like flying it because in VR it gets too cross sided. Uh, so I'll go for the 20. Yeah, let's go back to the task, make sure it's, it's okay. You want to go, look right here, make sure it says you can only use one plane only, but it says you can use any plane you want. Okay, so let's go there, toe, air toe, uh, plane icon, it's like 8K. Okay, if you fly in the clouds, it's 120 points per minute. Everything else, uh, P well, PA, real time scoring, blah, 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 okay. Only thing I think really look at is how far the plane icons are so I can see. You know, sometimes I like to follow people. Okay, the height, uh, turn helper, 4K. Okay, oh, there's gonna be some wave today. 
All right, so let's get in. Looks like it. Too bad Bruce isn't here. He'd like this ridge. My 30-second averager saying 5.7. Yeah, he's back tomorrow. He's uh, visiting uh, relatives. So this is my first task with the LS3. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna replace the LS. I'm gonna replace the AS twenty with the LS three. I think I kinda prefer the LS three now. Some different views here. That's me, APP. See the trees. I'm gonna make this like a flat screen uh, uh, stream, and uh, I'm gonna do a side by side uh, VR stream. Same time. So, uh, Gerd, how did you do with the FAI? Uh, not not very well. No, no. Uh. Uh, in uh, Sweden, the first two or three tasks uh, was running good. I think place 11. And after that race, I think uh, fourth, fifth, till seventh. Uh, yeah, mostly in the last uh, third of the players. And uh, yeah, uh, in Poland was much more bad uh, with crash and so not not good. Are you going to race in it next week? Yeah, I start on Sunday. Was LS3, I think, sometimes. It's uh, the week only club class, I think. So if you have VR, you can see the depth. Then the week later in Italy, I make a break. My sister comes to me and visit me. And then I always FIA uh, six weeks uh, break. Six weeks break? Yeah, I think the whole June and July is no... Uh, Cloud flying was not allowed today. Nope. Nope. 120 no. points per minute. Oh, okay. Oh, Johnny, you're flying with the LS4. We had one bear in the LS3.
Uh, much wave here, the six and a half. <laughs> okay. I've also just noticed how badly the, the stars of the US flag are done in Kondo. I hate wave tasks. Yeah, I'm not crazy about them either. If you are able to connect with the wave, it it can be boring. Yeah, I kind of I kind of find it funnier if you do if you're doing a task that isn't supposed to be a wave task and you catch a wave, then it's kind of fun to kind of climb up and. But if it's actually meant to be a wave task, it's kind of like uh, you just get there and wave and just fly the entire time up there. <laughs> See, I'm at three thousand meters already. And still going up at six and a half to seven. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Well, that's quite a bit. Let's see where he is. <laughs> that's Mike. Where are you, Mike? I am uh, southwest of the airfield. Oh, I can see Richard way up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's only like eight kilometers like visibility, so you're out of sight. <laughs> hey, I'm on my way back right now. I see Richard way down there. Okay, get back to my cut pick. Cut. Okay, there's your I yes think he's stream. coming up very quickly. So I gotta give up a little bit of right rudder. This is, you can see my, my right leg kind of stuck because I'm gonna want to weather vane in the direction that the. Uh, Yaw string is pointing, so it's going to, it's going to want to turn me that way towards the uh, tow planes over there, towards, towards the sock right there. And I also have to like turn my stick this way because the uh, plane's going to want to bank to the uh, left. You can see that guy taking off right there. Want to make sure this is not a regatta start. No, no, it doesn't. Oh dear, Mike, you just, you just came to view on my end. <laughs> yeah, sure. you were up there a little ways. Okay, make sure my set flight, my flap settings are at uh, 37 now. Put my trim to zero. Actually, I do, actually, set zero right there. At the rate I'm going up, I'm going to be... Uh... A little bit forward. Probably 4,000 before I get back to the start area. <laughs> and then you're testing flutter? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Little right rudder. Got the stick low to the, the right there. So I want to be the bank. I wanted me to turn into there. Turn off the uh, vario for now. So I'm getting blown to the uh, left there. That's because the wind's coming to the wind. We took off a cross landing. Took off a cloth. Cross landing, but the uh, cross take takeoff too. So, put my wheel up. Follow behind the tow plane. You know that the R3A has a note. Has a oops. It turns, you turns. You know, you match your wings with the uh, tow plane. Has a what? The R3A has a note. You didn't know that. Mm -hmm. The only R3A still has a winch one.
towards the mountains. Have to kind of watch out, you know, get your finger on the uh, release button just in case the tow plane wants to crash into the mountain. Okay, once we release, see if it's, hey, it went the right way this time. Oh, they're good. There's a cloud. I can use that too. Mm -hmm. oh, no, wait. I don't need it. <laughs> okay, uh, turn my video back on. Grady setting to 2.5. Damn, the other streak can really fly slow. Oh dear. Yeah, there I was. <laughs> Almost got sucked up into the cloud. So, uh, what do you call those clouds up there? The way, the ones that are way up high? Cumulus lenticulars. Lenticulars, right. So if you get sucked through that, do you get cloud penalties for that too? N no, they don't cause cloud okay. In Condor, they're super, super thin, so you're instantly through it. And they don't count. So we're getting a lot of rift ridge lift here. You can see it's like 4.5 meters per second. Ah, the wind up here is 55 knots. Kilometers, isn't it? Or, yeah, kilometers. <laughs> it starts with a K. Mm-hmm. There's the start. No, one minute. That's the start zone. <laughs> uh, I Didn't see you, Mike. I don't think I'm going to get the start altitude. I'm, I'm only 27. Isn't the start altitude 17,000? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four and a half, I have not. gonna climb up to like maybe like a few thousand and then go I'm not going up as high as you guys <laughs> I'm always the last one to start so I'm gonna try to start first here Hey, 
Hey, Nicola. Long time no see. That's Nicola, he's in the uh, N NBA NBE, which is like November Bravo Echo. I just saw like I just saw an AS with money like to crazy music. Well, at least a few cumulus clouds are starting to develop now. Man, Garrett, you've got a long way down to start. Oh, it's morning, I didn't even know what time it was. That's right. Yeah, it's, uh, what is it, not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. You're talking condor time, okay, not the real world time. Isn't... Not that I think we're going to need any. Those are gliders, my pillows. Good luck, John. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart that. I went down too far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but you got so much like uh, you've got so much uh, possibility for left that it wouldn't really matter, though, would it? What? Well, uh, my star must well start at top speed. <laughs> yeah, top speed, speed and top altitude. Yeah, yeah, I was a little bit. I, I went. I descended down a little too far too quickly and came in a little low and slow. I got to remember when I pull the brakes on this LS3, I got to put the flaps back to where I want them. Start 17? Yeah. Right. You get to start this time, John? Yeah, a little bit better this time. Yeah, I got a 207. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, Richard. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Were you here for uh, yes, uh, yesterday's uh, task, uh, Richard? Yeah, but I uh, crashed. Right, right, okay, yeah. Good luck here. I was doing Thank you. at the beginning. <laughs> and then I just made a stupid mistake.
That was easy to do in yesterday's mm, task. Yeah. Well, I mean exceptionally stupid. <laughs> Uh, why is Kander so... Why is uh, Norton so annoying? Um, now I'm kind of you to like to download the new Kataza update. I mean the data for the last three. But since it says that it's not safe. Norton won't fight me! So in my head with the mountains. <laughs> I think I might go that way, just... I don't know if it's going to be any better, but it'll be scenic. It's this little freaking like a uh, little freaking PDA. It's kind of hard to figure out which way I wanted to go because I, you know, had it sort of mapped out in my mind. It was kind of like a route which kind of took you a little bit like, you know, uh, west, northwest of the uh, blue line, which kind of curved right back to the uh, first turn. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm in VR and I can't see the whole map. <laughs> yeah, same here. I hope these guys that I'm following are going the right way. I think they are. I think I flew this way once before. I'm thinking we've done this uh, this area in the not too well, distant past. The task name was Refly, so yes, I'm pretty sure we've flown this. <laughs> good luck, Nicola. Good luck, Nicola. Yeah, good luck. It's too bad you can't scroll this like PDA. Yeah, I'm hoping they add a few features to the PDA for the next update. I mean, it's it doesn't need to like replace XC Sor, but. Just a few little changes would be nice. Because, like, uh, the little bit that I've done with, like, the uh, Microsoft, like, uh, a, gl a glider plane kind of stuff, you can scroll the PDA kind of stuff, headward and backwards kind of stuff, which is kind of nice. Yeah, maybe version 3. Yeah, this isn't really the way I wanted to go. Oh well. <laughs> My fate would be everybody else's fate. <laughs>
Yeah, this isn't the way I really wanted to go. But it looks like it's a pretty good route. Yeah, now that I can kind of see a little bit ahead on the PDA, looks like we'll have like ridges. Where's that guy going? One guy, this was one guy, uh, UP, and like, uh, they're kind of going a little bit more south there, or north, on the blue line there. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. <laughs> That's pretty sure about <laughs> I don't know, someone's left. Hello. <laughs> yeah, the route you're going uh, looks better, Richard. I'm gonna head over there. <laughs> Add a bit more height here. By the way, they actually released the new update because they because of the launch of the Maverick. Or if it's been funny, they added a new like spike lane. The one that was included in the zone. Very cool, Mach 10. It was a Mach 10 of 275,000 feet. I wish I could have ended that a little higher. Oh, this is going to be close. Yeah, I oh, see. It's like see a big that. cloud in a way. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to park here, make it over that hill that you just made over. Yeah. There's a little bit of lift towards it.
How the hell did you get so high up there, John? Uh, I was flying at Mercury 4 and I just flew at Mercury 4. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the stick back and put your brakes in. <laughs> oh, is that what the way? Shoot. Someone switches to the big mount. I had originally intended to go that way, but I didn't. Yeah, you know, last time I was here, I came the other way. The, the, I did see a few people fly off that way, though. go to the house, Mike? No, I'm gonna hook around this valley just a little bit. Well, I'm following the crowd here. <laughs> okay, I have my flap settings to three, so I kind of get a little bit of height here. <laughs> Are you going to try to get over, John? I wasn't intending it. At this point, I did, was not thinking I was going to go over this way, but this bridge here is kind of 
has the wind on it, and the wave is working pretty good right here. I may end up going up over. It's not bad here. Works perfect in the Lee, John. It was working really good, now I, I just flew out of the way, I think. So I'm gonna drop back down in. That was actually less to the Lee than it looked like it was. That There was a little spur on that ridge that stuck out that was perpendicular to the wind. There's plenty to sink here, though. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of sink over here, too. Try to reconnect to the wave, but that's not working. Uh, now I'm thinking I should have just kept on trying to climb over. Ooh, boy. Should add a bit more height there. What's this, your height, Richard? This John YT uh, nineteen something. Got a good speed? Yeah, I got a good speed, but instead of I have to take a slight detour because I didn't have enough height to sort of take advantage of the straight route. Finally getting a little lift here. <laughs> got a plus seven. Oh damn, plus nine. So you try to get, take advantage of this here, this lift here. Set my flaps to three. See if I can climb as high as I can get here. Don't hit my wings on that mountainside. <laughs> hit my wing. top of that thing right there. I want to be on you know, the top, top part of that. <laughs> then I get the wind, the wind coming straight up at me. This is more of an angler kind of thing here. It's tough to get there. I 
and then smack into the, the, the thing and then I keep my, my speed up too so I can <laughs> have authority to climb, authority to steer. <laughs> it's a little thrilling. <laughs> it's all thrilling to you smack into the hill, the mountain. <laughs> it's a little bit of sink here, just a little bit. It's like all, it's all in the blue, which is kind of bad because that's like uh, thinking air. So you want like you want to be in the, the red that. right there. Following a lenticular and then Condor updates the lennies and they <laughs> move on you. Well, at least I'm hiring that guy right there, Charlie Tango Echo or Charlie Tango X ray. It's kind of pretty down here. Condor isn't as like uh, as like uh, well developed as like uh, Microsoft on their uh, scenery, but it's still nice. I see you over there. Some yeah. I would give you like other views, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to smack into a hill. Yeah, I'm up to 37. 28. I'm 29. <laughs> I'm only 22. <laughs> yeah, I see you. I've been trying to climb the whole way there, but it just won't get me up there. <laughs> Yeah, I think that must really not feel good. It's okay. As long as I'm still going forward, that's the, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, I'm at 3,000, so... Sink. How much? There's a bit. See my numbers going up there because I'm in the air. Nice. Fly too slow. We are in a race, you know. There's, there's John using the LS4.
Hey, it's a nice big like a uh, water bed over here to our to our left, John. Let's go take a dip. <laughs> mm, probably cold. <laughs> oh come on! Join the polar bear club. <laughs> At the altitude yeah, is that at? That's at. If you jumped in it, I bet you would join the <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the throughout of the quite better than the what you guys took, actually. How is this, how is this good at 190 medium speed? This is a 199, what the hell? So how come I'm so low here, and I'm not uh, low and fast, I'm just like low and this low. <laughs> when May's down here, he's like, he's like, uh, just like, um, speed is like twice as mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why you're not finding any lift, actually. I'm, I'm so getting high. lift, I'm getting lift, but you know, it doesn't seem to be lifting me up as high as I want to be. You're actually 20 kilometers faster than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can see MPT up ahead to the left climbing. He's higher than I am with 175 <laughs> average. Good lord. Yeah, I... I should have flew into the mountains just, for, just so I could look at the scenery. <laughs> All right, screw it. I'm going to stop trying to gain height. I'm just going to get to the uh, turn point as quick as I can. <laughs> either. Mm -hmm. I also not. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna get some wave. Yeah, it might be good for like flying over the Alps. Yeah. I'm way too low. You low, Richard? Yeah. Uh, what's your altitude? 1550. Oh, yeah. yeah, last time. Mm. Like, how low is it? Uh, we need height at the first waypoint, I think. Yeah. You gotta get over these mountains, and how are you gonna do that? That's... Yeah, my Papa Tango at 4,000 meters. I kind of anticipated that there would be this really nice, uh, steep mountain side beside the turn point, but it's not. It's flat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So... So I think going direct up this valley is not an option for me. I'm too low for that. I can go back and... There is a low valley further back. 
Zom, have you cast the wave? Yep. Yeah, I might go there as well. Do you think I can get the wave from Fusix? Oh, congrats, Richard. No, thanks. What? Yeah, congrats, Richard. Yeah. What to do now? Way too low. So it's way where you're at, uh, uh, John? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get under you. That smack at the bottom of your uh, glider, that'll be me. <laughs> Is that round three? So I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get some wave here. Not following the mountains. That might be too low. Cause I'm right underneath you. I'm not getting anything. How high are you? Uh, 22. I'm at 38, yeah. Yeah, I think you need around 3,000 or something. In order to sort of have a chance. Yeah, I'm not catching the way. Congrats, John. Oh, yeah, congrats, I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's Josh. Never mind. Oh, yeah, I see you, Richard. Well, that's me, too. I, I have two accounts. I fly Condor with, on two computers at the same time. It's a little mm -hmm. confusing. <laughs> yeah, I'm extras, too, huh? <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, multitasking like a 3090. <laughs> I will much sink here. Mm. 
Okay, well, I didn't get that wave. So there's the uh, turn point. Congrats, Nicola. Congrats. Congrats, Nicola. Congrats. Congrats. You're not which shall the city do you catch the wave? You're spoken with me? Can you repeat, sorry? Uh, the, the, well, the oh, wave started that? working around 3000. Alright. Also, if it looks like we have a mountain right there that we have to climb. Uh, Ethan, X-ray, Romeo, Romeo, getting some very good lift behind there. Gotta go there. Congrats, John. Thank you. Congrats, Congrats John. John. Congrats, John. I'm sorry, Nicola, what were you saying? I see X-ray, Romeo, Romeo, having some very good lift. And I'm actually getting some pretty good as well. So, so come here. Yeah, I see him. Where are you, Richard? Oh, uh, back along the valley. Thanks. That's good. Congrats, Garrett. That's good. You must be almost under me. Yeah, yeah. See you. Now uh, three eight and bought. That's Mike. Thank you. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. Thanks. Mm. What's your height? Congrats. I am, let's see, 4317. Boah. That's right. Oh, damn, Stephen, it's a plus 10 here. Okay. <laughs> In 10 minutes per second. Okay. I don't know how many feet that is or not. <laughs> well, I'm in meters too, so. Oh, okay. Hi, Dennis. Here? Oh, John.
anybody order some sink? Ooh, the last three can turn real, real steep. Didn't order for it, but mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't be too surprised <laughs> to find it. You're flying directly upwind. Yeah, there's going to be a quite a bit of sink here. I'll need to slow down on the wavelength, because... 10 meters per second, Elon Musk, here I come! <laughs> Yep, this is wave 11. I think I need to get up there, fight my way up there to take advantage of that, uh, Nicola. Hmm. So you want to, like, surpass me, right? I'm getting, like, a 3.5 down here kind of stuff. So I should be up there in a few minutes. It looks like there's a cloud forming, though, on it. <laughs> Typical. DGT is stopping the climb up ahead. Which is a good idea. <laughs> Yay, more sink. Oh boy. Well, flying into a mountain from the lee side isn't going to be fun. Oh, six meters per second. Oh dear. Oh shoot. Uh. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I'll just say the altitude I had over this mountain has all evaporated extremely rapidly and I don't think I'm going to make it anymore. <laughs> I just lost a thousand meters in just a few seconds it looks like. Yep, I just ended the race there. Oh. Don't go this way. Okay. I, I'm well, slightly, I uh, I, I guess it would be very slightly west of your path. And I'm actually doing pretty good. Want to get to the edge of this valley and follow it for a little while. Let's get over here. Oh gosh. Did you make yes. it? Yeah, well, so far this is super nasty. I see you down there. <laughs> seven meters per second wave, Susan. I got seven meters over here, which is away from that cloud. <sighs> oh my gosh. Eight meters per second. That was painful. <laughs> The lift on this side is really nice. Uh, my net of variance is at 12 meters per second. <laughs> Holy crap! I just got close to the rim. I see what you mean. Scary. I that was very nearly the end of there. <laughs> no, that was a I just barely made over that last bridge. That was super bad sink. Yeah, I, I was like, well, I'm, it can't be so that much sink. I was you know looking way over the ridge and then just zoop. <laughs> well, the worst I got was uh, seven. I, I think you were quite a bit higher than I was. Yeah, I was not before ooh. you started sinking. <laughs> it really hurts without the water. That's the biggest thing is you can't you can't push through it. Yeah, and you can't push into this wind. Oh boy, a lot of sink here too though. DDT is not looking too great ahead of me. 
Wait, mirrors per second. No. Negative eight. <laughs> the wrong direction. Oh, these clouds are actually looking to be an issue now. Oh, wow. I'm doing a good job of finding all the sink. So I'm finally here where you are, Nicola. I was able to get high enough to get all these stupid clouds. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm getting at the seven. Yeah, I'm on way to 46. Yeah, I see you up there. So, Stephen, I see you're happy up here. Excuse me? I see you're happy up here. It would be a shame if somebody, <laughs> like, did something uh, I learned from, like, Japanese pilots. <laughs> Second World War. I, I, I actually honestly, I think that they need like a game mode where you can actually like do that where you get points for ramming people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting like a nine here now, Nicola, where I am. You, you, made, the you already made the turn point, didn't you? Uh, you talking to me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm just trying to get high till we get all this, those hills that you guys were having trouble with. I am going to stop and climb for a second on this wave because... I... I don't know if... Unless he gets lucky, I don't think DG he's gonna make it. He was looking very bad. NOI and AE both climbed here in this wave. Yes, definitely a good idea. Oh, here comes the seven meters per second at 51. Yeah, there's no such thing as too much altitude here. <laughs> yeah. You think you got plenty, and next thing you know, you're a thousand meters below what you wanted. Let's see if I can get to 50. Let's yeah, welcome to the other. <laughs> Let's see if I can get to 50. How high did you get before you took off, Nicola? Can you repeat, Stephen? I said, how high did you get before you took off? Before I took off? Yeah, before you, like, started, because, like, I can't see you anymore, so you, like, uh, you're heading for the uh, final, right? Uh, no. I'm still here. I'm at 55. I'm, I'm putting my nose straight at the wind. I'm now flying at 44 ground speed. Okay, you must be like seven. You must be so high that you're like out of my my uh, vision because I can't see you. Can you see yeah, me? I'm searching for you as well. Can you see me? Oh, I can see you. Well, not for my I don't like this place. Man, there are so many 
I don't know why, but I've got to like change constantly the altitude of my altimeter. Oh, now I see you. <laughs> you're only one point, uh, you're only one point uh, four kilometers away from me. Yeah, you're really up there. Yeah, I'm getting to six thousand. Can you use some lift, please? No. A little bit. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you imagine if, like, now the mount, the lift just goes like, Oh, sorry, I thought you said negative. <laughs> I yeah. like. So, Richard, did you finally get Hello. up here? Yeah, I finally got up. Huh? Yeah, I'm at 61. I'm at uh, 54. There is still somebody at 14. Oh no, it's telling me you're sterile. The sink. <laughs> you're scaring us, like, uh, John. I think you're doing it on purpose. Oh, to try to get. <laughs> okay, this is terrifying up here, is all I gotta say. <laughs> you're just trying to scare us so we won't leave so you can win the race, huh? That's what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I, this is just. No, oh, I do not like up here at all. This is a terrible. <laughs> wow, this is a good one, Richard. Yeah. the lift works on this fridge because if it doesn't it's gonna be a little bit of a do you guys think six four is enough to reach the to the end probably yeah the, the, yes you're at six four yeah you're, you're yeah my pda says i'm gonna arrive about two thousand three hundred meters over the line me too over minimum altitude sorry Yeah, I'm gonna leave about 60. I've wasted enough time here. <laughs> ah, very, very good. Here's six months. Uh, the lift is getting like only three meters per second. Okay, made it over. That was pretty scary, actually. <laughs> We're at 66 and going. <laughs> I'm only at 57, I'm going. Yeah, I mean, the path I went over was at 29. <laughs> Amazing sink. Yeah. This whole valley's full of it. Wow. He, he did 173. 
<laughs> I'm only 50k short, uh, slower than him. Yeah, my speed has dropped by 50k since I turned the turn point. Yeah, I'm like down to 155. I mean, 105. <laughs> oh, Stephen, I just remember one thing. We're going headwind. Yeah. Now this is where the pain begins. Dropping like the proverbial brick. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're in the lee of that mountain, aren't you? Yeah, if I just get around the corner, I'll be okay. Ha <laughs> ha, famous last words. Yeah. Just grab a bit more height here. Whoa. <laughs> Why is there not more lift? Yeah, I'm dropping like a stone here too. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I didn't say that multiple times earlier. Again. Oh, we know, but I mean, I had 50, I had 60 meters up in the air. I, yeah, it's terrible. That is actually one of the worst, scariest places to fly over. I think I've done in Condor. I was like, oh, whoa. That was pretty terrifying up there. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting something here. Slowing down to, to try to get some lift because I know I'm going to get some sink afterwards. Congrats, John. Congrats, John. Congrats, Thank John. You. Congrats. Man, you're quite sinking. God, I think I see a way over, but I'm not positive because it's filled with cloud. What I did, well, is as we got to the end, then we turned right to the uh, west. There, basically, at the end, there's a little lower pass. You can kind of hop over to the west, and there's doors lift on it. 
But, but uh, um, at the very to the end, right behind that mountain. But yeah, at the end of that valley, before you get you get the bits. Yeah, I had problems with clouds. Uh, <laughs> By the way, can we jump? Yep, thanks. No, I'm sick in the office to one. Man, let's take what the hell? Uh, Stephen, I see. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Yeah, I was seeing uh, Mike Alpha Yang keep going down at the minus four. Yeah, I'm heading for a nice little low part here on the mountain here. The only place yeah, I've also gone be. I've also gone under the floor. I hope I have enough height when I get there. Because like, I keep getting yeah. sick, I keep getting sick, I keep getting lift, That's sink, lift. <laughs> Hello. Oh man. I'm like ten. I'm heading for <laughs> minus ten. I'm like heading for a low part in the mountains here, kind of stuff. But like, <laughs> I'm gonna switch the spectator in a second. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it across this air. Okay, I'm back in the lip now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who the hell I am supposed My glider won't go fast enough to make <laughs> McCready happy in this a much sink. Richard. Wow, Richard, that's pretty good. Richard. I don't know how you do that, Richard. <laughs> Neither do I. I had, I think, three and a half thousand at the waypoint, and you have one and a half thousand? Great. Touch and go. What do you mean by touch and That's go? cool. Oh, you did a touch and go? Oh, yes. On the mountain. On the mountain, yeah. Oh. Yep. Hey, congrats, Mike. I can see you're, you're clear. Oh, plus 20? What the hell? Yeah, I'm almost there now.
I need to get where you are, Nicola. Okay, am I just missing across? Yeah, I see now six XR. Yeah, six XR might be dead. Or maybe not. It's making it over at 90. 90 kilometers per hour. Just, just barely. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, you guys went different different route than we did. Uh, yeah, we took a different valley. Yeah, I made it where you are, Nicola. <laughs> I got like, you know, plus three. Yes, that was yeah, close. Yeah, it's We're going for the final now. I can't make it across, no problem. Well, I think at a minus 40, maybe I can put that in a little bit of the top. You know, actually, I just make it. Yeah, stay high, Stephen. <laughs> minus 14 at the pass. Here we go. Minus 15. Oh boy. <laughs> Yikes. I'm gonna have to turn back. I'm gonna have to turn back. Damn. Oh no. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's like you have height, and then all of a sudden, like you get a big amount of sink, and it like it looks like you're gonna be able to make it over. Then, like you know, you get like eight point something sink, and you just get too low, even to do like a dive pull up. Extra points if you park in a hangar. Oh. <laughs> Should have said that before. I didn't even think about it. I, I, why landed I parked in one of the hangars? <laughs> the one that has the uh, airport name on it. Normal, uh, is it possible to find? Yeah, maybe it is. Catch Mike. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. Congrats, Mike. It was a little bit of a scary landing, though, because like, it's a tailwind landing if you try to park into him. Making it season? No, I gotta climb. 
I'm gonna um, get an parking ticket. Like a power flat, what the fuck? I think he's just like, without the water, the uh, oh, the things, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, 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 when you're on the wrong side of that, <laughs> you're. <laughs> okay, so this. Thank you. Congrats. 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 Yeah, my big mistake was not having a look at the terrain near the turn point. I really thought there was a somewhere to climb there. Yeah, unfortunately, at that turn point, the only place to climb was behind it. Yeah. Well, actually, I mean, if we the way we went uh, going back along the valley was actually, quite, I think, quite a good choice. And then there was a place to climb further along, but. So I tried to climb too early. If I just scooted back along the valley to where the, the lift was good, then I would have saved some time. Congrats, Nicholas. Congrats, Nicholas. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. See that you can probably just follow that that ridge just up. Basically, the one, yeah, the one in front of you, the low ridge. I think as, as you go the direction you're going, you can follow it up to the little peak, the lower peak to your just slightly off to your left. Yeah, I see it. And then, yeah, that's kind of where I was going before, but then like I hit the little sink going that way too. Yeah, just be sure you stay to the right side of there. <laughs> yeah. That's a, because the wind's blowing you to the left, so you can't stay to the right. Whew. Yeah, it's really difficult to turn downwind when you're slow. You turn off the wrong way. It's right here. John's where I was getting lifts, and then like all of a sudden it started to go down. I'm getting lift now kind of stuff, but then like when I was trying to head for the, uh, to get over the hill, for some reason, man, it was, I was like going down like, like a ton of bricks. Because I'm getting a plus five here. I really didn't think I was going to get over the last two ridges. I just aimed straight for them, and as soon as, and just before I hit the, the ridge, I just pulled vertically up to get over. Well, that's what I was trying to do the first time, kind of stuff. But then it was like just too low, and it was like just too much sink. It was like a ten sink kind of stuff, you know? Like, oh no, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> so this time I'm going to try to get up at least forty. Before I attempt it. Yeah. Wife's home for lunch. Uh, I guess it's time for me to go. Understood. I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, okay. Good luck, Stephen. Yeah, uh, thank you. You got to make it over that hill. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bye bye. I won't be here tomorrow. Bye bye. Low pass. Okay. See y'all later. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye. See you later. Oh, what happened to this? Oh,
That was the windsock, was it? Uh, no. I just messed with that. Hello there, Richard. Hi there. Okay, good luck, C Fan and Gerd. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go one more pass here and I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, you're you're good to go over. <laughs> yeah. You're higher than anyone else who <laughs> flew over. I think I'll hop out into the spectator mode and see this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the only thing that's holding me back is fear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still like still touching the edge of the mountain here. <laughs> That's on I'm from seven two house land and I cleared that one with That yet now the game's being mean and putting a cloud in the way. Say again. So the game's being mean and put a, put a cloud in your way. Yeah, there's a cloud. Good. I'm so high up in the air here. I'm too too afraid to get anywhere near that red line. <laughs> No, that was a very bad cloud, the second, on my way to the finish. Uh, when you're in spectator mode, how is it that you get the, the spectator list up? Well, sorry, the pilot list. Uh, it's, um, it's a separate window to run on your desktop, so you like alt tab to it. Got it. That's where you can turn the trails on, too. Yeah, I think the first time I went through, you were more uh, right of me, uh, Nicola. And I was like more left, and I was like experiencing more sync. Uh, can you repeat something? I said when we were first going over that, that one pass right there, you were more right of me. You were on my right wing kind of stuff. And like uh, maybe uh, four or five kilometers to my right, and I was like uh, more to your left. And I think I hit more. I think I experienced more sink on that on those ridges before I got to that one good part. So that's probably why I didn't make it the first time. Yeah, Garrett, the the ridge is the first ridge that you're approaching. Will get you over too if you turn basically right as you get over this. No right, yeah. Yeah, basically the, the ridge you're almost over now. Okay. Would be the would be the safe one to turn at. Thanks. Yep, that one. Yep. 
Yeah, fantastic. I hear my glider creaking. <laughs> to see you all next time. Yep. I see you later. Cheers. Yep. And there you go. <laughs> Congrats to Garrett. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Keep your wings on now. A bit liver and, yeah. Yeah, that's the ridge I ended up flying over. It was, it was right, right where you just went over. It's like, Jesus Christ, I'm going 250 kilometers per hour, and it just feels like I'm walking like... It seems like I'm going like three miles an hour, you know? It's like, geez, it's so, it feels so slow going into the wind. Yeah, the yeah, hit wind, especially at the high altitude. <laughs> Get a little closer to the red line, a little closer. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it, man. It, 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 it seems like I'm doing good kind of stuff, and then, like, the last possible moment, you know, you get, like, a bad break. Like, oh, fuck, you know? <laughs> well, this one is, this is a tough one. This is, there is, this was really easy to make a mistake, and I, I came super close to buying it on that <laughs> that you know past that first leg I'm like okay well, I'm plenty high there's there's little bits of wave and stuff I what I should have done was stopped in those waves to climb instead of just flying straight through and just just slowing down because I got to that first ridge and I just barely pulled through it that sink was so bad and then the top of that mountain line too that was pretty bad but it wasn't as bad as that first one just because I didn't get as quite as low, but it was still pretty scary. No, I thought after passing first waypoint it will be easy the last leg. <laughs> <laughs> Had enough height. Yeah, that's what I was assuming too. I was like, oh, I, I could see over it. It was, yeah, there was, there's not going to be that much sink. <laughs> was I wrong? <laughs> Yeah, because like it, you know, uh, Nicholas is a little bit higher when he started, but I got up to sixty, and I was thinking, God, it's got to be enough, even with the headwind kind of stuff. But that headwind really slowed you down, and then like, like you said, when you get in that sink, it was like ten, nine, eight, you know, seven. You know, like I say, you lose like a thousand meters in like you know, five seconds. Jesus. <laughs> You know, I got a little bit of lift here and there, kind of stuff, in the right places, kind of stuff, but it wasn't nearly as good as the sink. So there wasn't the possibility to put water in, right? Right, it's club class. There's no, no water. Yeah, so I, I, even, I even forgot to think about it, kind of stuff, you know? So, good thing. <laughs> Put my landing gear down. Yeah, I don't think this task was really appropriate for club class. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, definitely made it exciting. For sure. Yeah.
Crosswind takeoff, crosswind landing. Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really difficult to turn downwind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but basically, you can't. <laughs> wait, wait, it's funny. We just... <laughs> when I was doing it, I, I came in and then turned. Uh, I mean, I, I turned. Oh, I did a regular approach and then I turned to go flight, to go make a downwind landing into the hangar. But it's, just, it's important to remember if you're making a turn with those strong winds, is ignore the ground <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying just imagine the air is moving with you because the air is moving across the ground yeah yeah if you try to make a turn reference to the ground you'll be like where'd all my airspeed suddenly go yeah oh you made it good <laughs> congrats gary oh you made it good congrats. Yo, thank you <laughs> you see you doing a little air show there <laughs> <laughs> In the new airless LS three. What? Who oh, watch the trees? <laughs> see, it's funny. I can see that you flew through one of those trees, but obviously you didn't because you didn't crash. Well, there's lag. One thing can make it look like it. And also, depending on what you hear, the tree turned up or down. Some. The trees at the airport, most of them are part of the airport, so they're always there. But the other trees are further away, or the ones that that oh, are generated by Condor that you can turn off when you turn the trees down. I, got, I have my trees one notch below the highest because I think it helps it make it less likely to crash. Yeah. I think mine's on highest. Oh, guys. That's, that's pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, congrats. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you later, Nicole. Bye bye. User disconnected from your channel. Uh, don't hit my plane. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not your plane. Yeah. Wait, Garrett, is that the lowest flap setting? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, was just, I was looking to see from the outside. I, I don't have the else through him. Is it the lowest what setting? Oh, flap setting. Oh, yeah, it wasn't sure flap, but, yeah, I wasn't sure what flap setting he was at. The inside um, doesn't animate the controls on the inside, so you can't tell. Yeah. So Tango Kilo still coming in. Okay, chaps, thanks for the flight, and uh, I'm not here tomorrow, but uh, and I'll be flying the FAI next week. So. Do you have a big head tomorrow? All right, good luck on that. Yeah, tomorrow um, we have the friends coming for dinner. Fantastic. Yeah, reindeers. Right, reindeer for dinner? Yeah. <laughs> What's reindeer taste like? Yeah. Good question. Tastes like reindeer. <laughs> yeah, I, I assume it probably tastes like deer and other venison type things. Probably yeah. the same flavor. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh my but, god, my god, you're eating Rudolph? Oh no. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> oh wait, have a good afternoon. Okay. Good yeah. Bye bye, Owen. All right. Bye, Gerd. Bye, bye uh, Stephen. Bye, John. <laughs> bye. User disconnected from your channel. User yeah, we're watching like TK here doing a little air show. From your channel.
that you can move, uh, you can move the, vi the uh, view around using your mouse. Spectator mode. Well, not in spectator mode right now. I'm in the regular mode. And then, like, you can use. And there you go, put a smoke on. You can use the other one to zoom in and out if you want to get closer. That's as close as you can get. You can see a little puff of smoke coming out of his wings. It's flying upside down. It's in the uh, standard uh, Cirrus, which comes with Condor. That's one of the ones that comes with Condor when you buy it. Oh, I'm doing like a little hammer here at stall. Flying upside down, inverted again. Another hammerhead stall. <laughs> you can see the pilot's like animation. <laughs> you can see robotic. <laughs> Chase plane view here. That let me do a complete. Oh, uh, no, then the end of one returns. I need to fly upside down. That's a little low for me. <laughs> I wouldn't be flying upside down that way.
like he's coming in for a landing. Put his landing gear down. And there it goes. Okay, oh, do a little cartwheel. Not that good. <laughs> it's good. Good air show, bad land, bad uh, ending. All right, well, that's it for me t today. Thanks for flying with me. If you watch, and see you next time. Oh, I'll do a little like uh, before I go. I'll I'll do the um, the uh, flight path and all that stuff before I go. Okay. Okay. Then I got Team Speak and probably the last one in there. <laughs> yeah. Disconnected. Yeah. Thanks for telling me. Okay. Go to Condor Club. Go to Pilot Ranking. Go upload your upload your uh, flight team. Choose a file. I used to save them. I used to save a lot of them. See, they're all I'll save them in a different name. But now I just kind of like I just kind of like go to the last track. You know, always record your last. Always save your last track. Go in there. Hit submit. Load it up. Go, go to uh, show flight analysis. Tells you all your flight. You know, it's the start. It's the first turn point. It took me like, <laughs> took me an hour and 30 minutes to get to the first turn point. Okay, and then I finished, uh, finished in like an hour and 25. Hmm. That doesn't seem to match up with that. Alright. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Okay, so it will. Now there's the winner. See what play let's see how he his path compared to mine is John's. There's me. So how long did it take me? Hour and twenty five? Hmm. Interesting, okay. I'll have to reread that to see how that, that works. Okay, so we go task time. It's always kind of the best. And we'll play it. I'm in the blue plane. Oh, hey, where am I? Hold on. Let's go back. Okay. So I clicked it, I guess I did. Okay, here, here we go. Hey! Ah, dang it. Let's go back. Okay. Let's unclick all of them. Unclick all of them. Unclick it. Come on. Restart it. Okay, now this guy, John, and me. Alright. Alright, there we go. I'm in the green plane, John's in the blue, and this other guy's in the white plane. I go to task time. All right, now let's check it out there. Now see, that was the way that I was, that was the way I was kind of planning on going that way. See, I should have did it. See, it stayed nice and low pretty much. 
pretty much for the whole thing. I was like pretty low for the whole thing too, but he stayed like a low height or a good low height. Yeah, got a little high, got a lot of height right there too. But then, like we came, came through there. He's only like five hundred. He's only like five hundred meters there. Yeah, did he? Huh. Yeah, see, I had to like go through that kind of crap right in there, blow me down a lot. And then I finally made it. <laughs> All right, now that's it. Alright, see you guys. See you next time.